Hi, and welcome back to Rise of the Rovers. Premier League Blackburn Rovers. It's got a beautiful little bit of, yes, excitement, isn't it? Well, it is exciting, and I am very excited to be in the Premier League with Blackburn Rovers. So please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and also get notified of future uploads. Let's go and have a look at our season review and our transfers for this season. Yes, our end of season review. What did everybody think? So first of all, um, I don't see any stars. There's no star rating for any of these stars. Maybe because we only signed one and the best player to come in was before we even came. So Leighton Clarkson, 13 appearances, eight off the bench, a 6.92, not too bad. Eden, two starts, 26 off the bench, a 6.79. Pavada, 6.78. Only played five times in total. And Segovia. Nine appearances from Segovia. One assist. 6.75. He was a youngster. We've got an A. We'd like to think that uh, hopefully he should be a bit, a bit more of a player involved this season. Transfers out. Nobody of any... Anybody that we sold really do anything? Not really. In fact, looking at it, there was a lot of players who left last season and not a, quite a few that uh, had nothing to do with us. Season to remember. Promotion season, of course. We finished fourth. We ended up being promoted. Gallagher, 20 goals. Yeah, 21 to be honest, but I'm not sh too sure on that. So, reached playoffs as a minimum. I think it was mid-table, but we'll we'll gloss over those little smaller details. We only had an average attendance of 55% of our stadium, which is 17,528. So we've got a big enough stadium for the Premier League. Hopefully we can fill it a bit better now we are up. FA Cup. The ball were pleased. Fourth round. They wanted the fourth round. We did it. We're happy with that. Carabao Cup. Third round they wanted. We only got to the second. Not very happy there. So, to be honest, we should have won. We, we battered Peterborough in that game. Moments to remember. Biggest win. A 4-0 victory over Nottingham Forest. That was a cracking game. Match to remember. A 2-1 victory over Stoke. 93rd minute goal that really was an important game just before December Carabao Cup Clarkson with his goal we did see it in in the episode if you haven't seen it go back and watch it please finances oh, it's, a, it's a little bit skewed because obviously first season is a little bit different everything's going to be green because we've never had anything before but so we haven't really got anything to compare it to for this season. National rating, three star out of five. We need to get that up if we want to start signing some good players. Shirt sold. Diaz, top one. Nyambi, Gallagher, Rothwell, and Dayak. And Bradley Dak. Yes, interesting. How they lined up. Kaminsky in goal. Nyambi, Ayala, Lenehan, Pickering. Davenport, Rothwell, Travis, Dolan, Diaz and Gallagher. Pretty, pretty close. 4-3-3. Which we will be... We'll be doing this for away uh, away games. And then home games, we'll, we'll change it up a little bit. And go for the 4-2-3-1. All the hard work paid off. Skybet Manager of the Month for April. Skybet Manager of the Year. Happy days. Happy days indeed. 
Fans Player of the Year, Nyambi. Young Player of the Year, Nyambi. Goal of the Season, Clarkson. Top goal scorer, Gallagher with 21. I thought it was 21. Pickering, 16 assists. Pickering, most man of the matches as well with six. Highest average rating, Harry Pickering again, 7.3. And Scott Wharton, 81% pass completion. That is good. Record breakers, Gallagher, 21 goals. Assists with Pickering, Kaminsky, 22 clean sheets. Look, obviously with the man of the matches for Pickering as well. Travis, 16 yellow cards and one red. Youngest player, Segovia. Youngest goal scorer, Dolan. Competition awards, not yet. History in the making. Blackburn looked a class above in the first few months of the season. And we expect the outcome and reap the rewards. A fantastic start to the season. And kicked off an unlikely promotion push. Thank you, Dan Jones. Now... This is where things are going to start getting interesting. We are now a Premier League team. And finances. We've got plenty of budget. And we've got £25 million to spend. So, let's go on a little bit. See if we can sign. Maybe we've got to sell some as well. Because there are some players who aren't very happy. So, if we look at dynamics... Yeah, there's a whole load of people that aren't happy. So we might have to have a look at that, contracts and stuff. So we'll be back in a minute to see who we can sort out first of all. OK, so first few bit of dealings we've had. And we'll we'll go with the outs first of all. Um, yes. Ryan... Nyambi has gone to Crystal Palace for £9.5 million. He wanted to go. There wasn't a lot we could do about it. So, unfortunately, he has left us. So, it's a bit of a blow. But um, he was a good player for us last season. But there was lots of issues with him as well. He did get Fans Player of the Year. So, that's going to be a bit of a reaction one. We'll see what happens. But Nyambi has gone. We've also got somebody we've brought in and we've got rid of him straight away. And we'll look at this lad first of all. Papilio has gone out on loan purely because he's one for the future. He can play in multiple positions, but he didn't get a work permit straight away. So we have we've put him out on loan. He has gone to Mitchelland. Mitchelland, I think that's how you say it, on a season-long loan. Hopefully sort out a work permit and come back into the squad. So he's he's a very well-rounded player, so can play anywhere. <laughs> look, look at that, he's just, he plays anywhere. That is just unbelievable for some people. Now, other signings. We'll go up through the list, because it looks like that's the way to do it with the values, really. Daniel Ballard comes in from... Did he come from Arsenal? Yes, he did. Daniel Ballard comes in from Arsenal as a no-nonsense centre-back. Can also play just a normal central back centre-back on as a stopper. Six foot two, right-footed, powerful centre-back, media description. 16 of heading, 15 jumping reach. Needs to work on his marking just a little bit. Four and a half star potential, three star current ability. A very, very good extra central defender that we needed. Fairly quick, 12 and 13 for pace. So, Northern Ireland. Current international, 14 appearances for the 22 year old. We then go to Tareem. Moffy. Moffy is a four star potential ability, three and a half star current ability player. A striker. An absolute beast of a striker. Strength is 17. Balance is 17. 
finishing 13, maybe need to work a little bit on that, but very well rounded. Six foot two, again, somebody who's going to be a big threat from corners and stuff. We're hoping we've got a nice little star on our hands again. 23 year old Nigerian striker. And here is an Ambi's replacement, Jaden Bogle. Now, four and a half star potential, three and a half star current ability. We signed him for 12 million pounds. Moffy was six, rising to 12. Bogle, 12 million pounds, rising to 15 million. And just look at him. He is a big improvement. Big improvement. An attacking fullback. Gets down the right whenever possible. He's just so well rounded. He's just got so much ability. He's already in the 18 to 22 price bracket, yeah, million pounds. Yeah, I think he's going to be a new fan for a favourite. Jaden Bogle. So, so far, we're now on to the start of the transfer window. As we can see, Papilia has gone out on loan. And we've got plenty of other irons in the fire. Another defender, maybe. Tom Davies on loan, possibly. Another lad from a couple who are coming in. We'll see those in a minute. Yes, as we were saying, there was a couple more that were coming in. So Jake Clark Salter comes in from uh, Chelsea. He's a Chelsea player. He's coming in. Another defender, left-sided defender, can also play left back. Six foot two again, another decent, decent defender. Plenty of good stats. Four star potential, two and a half star current ability, 24 years old. So he's got whether he'll make that four stars, debatable, but another good player for the squad. Comes in. Fourth best centre back, second best left back. He's better than Eden, so it's a nice little option to have there as cover for that position. Nathan Holland, again, another 24 year old, comes in from West Ham on a free transfer. And this lad can play anywhere across the front, preferably plays on the left. He's a Manchester City supporter, look. Four star potential again, two and a half star current ability. Just another nice option. It's got a nice bit of dribbling. It's quite quick. Natural fitness needs working on a little bit. Yeah, but he's, he's well rounded for what we need, hopefully. For cover, he can play inverted winger. He can also play in there. He's not, you know, mainly for the left. Cover for Diaz when he's out on his uh, internationals and he comes back not very fit. We've got someone there who can come in and potentially help us out. There's another few lads we were looking at, but we've also got some staff members in so far. I know people don't aren't always interested in staff, but uh, was it end of the season we did a couple? Yeah, sports scientist, a physio. Steve Bold has come in as well. We brought in Steve Bold as a coach. Just a, a great, great person to have around. You know, it's, it really is. Joe Dunn as well. Another lad. Comes in as a coach. Irish. Didn't have any caps for him in, back in his playing days, but determination, level of discipline, motivating. You know, he's, again, another well-rounded person. Right, let's get on to... Uh, this is now 1st of July. So we have still got... Some more irons in the fire. A scout trying to get rid of some other players and stuff. So we'll just get on now and come round to see where we are in a second. So here we are round to the 29th of July. We'll do through the last few transfers and then we'll have a look at our season preview and all see how we've been doing. And so Holland came in. Salter, Tom Davies, 
in on loan. Again, another 24-year-old, just accumulating a few 24-year-olds. Probably, a lot of people have probably seen this lad playing in the Premier League, and he is an all-energy, stamina 17 look. You know, he's a, he's a player who really, really could help us out, hopefully, this season. And it would be nice just to see if he can, because he is somebody who potentially could be very, very good for us in that central midfield role. Can also play in the defensive midfield role as well. So he's the second best there, fourth best central midfielder. Players out, a load of players on loan. We've also had a few youngsters go as well. And Jerome Sinclair is gone after his small little spell with us. Competition-wise, let's have a look. Where are we? We are currently season preview. We're going down. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what it says. It's going to take an absolute miracle for us to stay up. But who knows? These stranger things have happened. So as it stands, with our pre-season, these friendlies were all arranged. I didn't arrange any extras. We just went with it. And Chesterfield, a 1-0 victory. Britton Diaz with a goal there. Accrington Stanley, a 5-1. Moffy. Popped in with a hat-trick in this game. Diaz and Pickering. They had two players sent off in this game. Then we have Rochdale. 5-0 again. Butterworth, Diaz, Moffy, Ballard and Holland. So a lot of the new signings there. Popping in with goals. Gil Vicente. 4-2 victory this time over there. Moffy with one. Diaz with two. Eden popped in as well. Eden's still here. He's still around at the moment. I'm not too sure whether we will sell him or not. Leganes, 1-0. Tom Davies this time popped in with a goal. Nice little win at home. 6,000 fans. Look, you'd think you'd get more of that for pre-season. But our first couple of games of the season will be Arsenal and Brighton. So it's going to be an interesting Interesting little time. Dynamics. Eden still wants to leave to get better playing time. Ah, he's got no support. No one disagrees or agrees with him. So at the minute, we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. Team cohesion's good. Club atmosphere, very good. Managerial support, good. All of last season, managerial support was dreadful. <laughs> they had no confidence in this at all. But thankfully... As it stands now, they're, they're on the side. They're, they're pretty good. They're pretty happy. So we will wait and see what happens with that. Transfer-wise now, so staff. We brought in a couple more. Kevin Ball comes in as loan manager, ex-Sunderland. Uh, ex so he's going to be helping us out with that side of it. Ryan Babel has come in as a scout. Uh, yeah, a little bit low, but we're, we're just going to see how he gets on. You know, he's he's somebody that uh, he's a name, so we'll we'll see how he gets on with that. Barry Robson, under 19s manager. So we've actually gained another team. Under 23s, under 19s, and under 18s now. So we'll have to we'll see how that things tear up with them there. There's nothing really coming through as we see at the moment, but we will have to wait and see how we get on. Medical centre, not too bad at the minute. Tactics wise, this is pretty much what we're gonna start, how we're gonna start the start of the season. We've got one more sign in. How do I miss him? Ah, <sighs> Nemanja Motika comes in from Bayern Munich on loan. Now, the reason I went for this lad, he might only be fourth and fifth best player on the wings. 
but five star potential, two and a half star current ability. He's just got loads of potential and we're hoping to sign him as well. We've got a big chance of signing him. It's £700,000, I think. Burnt Schneider. So whoever Burnt Schneider was, I'm not quite sure. I should know I'm an old man myself, so I should remember somebody like that. But at this moment in time, he is touted as an ex-German international player. So somebody potentially who could be very, very good for us. So, but this is the sort of team we're looking at for next season. Hopefully, we can get away from that 1,000 to 1 prediction and stay in the Premier League. Well, if you have enjoyed that, please do hit me up with some... some, 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 some spit it out, James. Speak English. Speak. Subscriptions. Let's pop that in again. Subscriptions. Likes. Thumbs up. Comments. Notifications. I do love it when you have a little mess up like that. And I'm not going to cut that out. I'm leaving that in because that's just natural. Just natural. Now, please do come back for our start of the season we've got Arsenal we've got Brighton and I really really hope we can get off with at least three points maybe two one at us yeah it's going to be tricky whichever way we go but thank you for watching this transfer special has been a quiet one it's not been the biggest transfer special we've done over the years but uh, it's definitely been fruitful and we'll see you in the next episode Goodbye.